Good evening, everyone. Michael here with Felicity, November 8033 Fox, a Cessna flight training device that I built right here at home. It is Tuesday, the 18th of April, 2023. I hope you're all doing well and good wherever you may be around the world. This evening, um, parking brake, hello, welcome. This evening, I'm hoping to uh, fly a 172 Foxtrot model. Um, <clears throat> and I will preface by saying that by no means am I an aircraft developer of any sorts. I logically dabble with Plane Maker um, using information in search of an outcome that you know I hope resembles um, the rear world aircraft so very 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 crude uh, type of development we basically take the stock Cessna 172 and um, took our POH for the 172 Foxtrot and made all the necessary changes within plane maker which I'll spare you all the I'll spare you all the technical details but we've reduced our uh, max takeoff weight to 2,300 pounds, and we've uh, modified our empty weight to 1,400 pounds. We've reduced our um, available fuel down to 39 pounds. We have reduced the available horsepower from 180 down to 145 pounds. The engine is now carbureted with uh, carb heat, as well as an engine primer. Um, so, uh, engine and performance wise, and that's kind of what we have, uh, oil capacities, eight quarts. The airfoils were modified just slightly to, um, uh, resemble the, uh, the pre-November, um, airfoil. The, the later model November they switched the uh, airfoil and it's a different type of a uh, different type of wing almost on those latter 172s so we did some research found the airfoil type for the you know, 65 66 era Cessna 172 Foxtrot and we applied that to our aircraft within plane maker um, so hopefully we'll get something that's flyable if it is, we'll beat up the pattern, uh, then we'll, we'll go somewhere, um, probably do a bit of air work on the way. We're at my home airport. It's going to be the best place for me to practice at. Um, I, I know the area. Last I checked, I do believe that Cleveland Center was online. So once we figure out where we're going to go, um, we'll try and grab flight following from Cleveland Center. And, or at least traffic advisories while we're doing our air work. Uh, we can probably go ahead and head to Mansfield. In fact, let's just plan on that. Let's head to Mansfield. Um, Mike Foxtrot Delta. Uh, there's a uh, uh, Air Force wing out there as well. We see a lot of C-130s coming in and out of there all the time. So let's plan on that. Let's take a look at Mansfield real quick and make sure there's no NOTAMs that are going to affect our flight over there. Uh, Air National Guard ramp is closed. It doesn't affect us. Uh, some taxiways are closed. Taxiway J and taxiway H. Okay, that shouldn't affect us either. Let's take a look. E. Taxiway J and H. Yeah. I don't even see it on here. Okay, there's H and there's J. Those two taxiways are closed, so we have golf at our disposal, November. I want to thank everyone for coming in and hanging out this evening. Hey Drippy, what's going on my friend? Hello, welcome on in. Um, just did a little bit of discussion about uh, 
the aircraft we're going to be flying. Uh, it's 172 Foxtrot. Uh, all the information was taken from the POH. Hopefully, it'll, hopefully it'll feel like the uh, the one I fly in real life, and if it does, then then I'll be satisfied with it. Uh, runway choices: zero five two three and one four and three two. Um, it is a controlled field, so we'll see what ATC is going to give us. Um, but with the winds at two seven zero, I would imagine. Well, I guess probably six to one, half dozen the other, but if they had the choice, I'll take the longer runway most likely. So I would expect runway 32 out of Mansfield for our landing. We are currently at 4 India Niner, or Kilo 4 India Niner, however, um, however it gets looked up via whatever navigational means you're using at the time. Some of things like a I don't remember if it was Navigrab or one of those online um, uh, flight planning utilities required the K in front of it. Alright, um, we have 39 gallons of fuel. Again, our gross takeoff is now 2300 down from 2500 and our empty is now 1400 down from 1479 uh, horsepower again is reduced down to 145 from 180 and we are going to have to remember our carb heat this time because the engine is carbureted and uh, as we all know carb icing can happen just about any time any altitude anywhere uh, I think that's it not really much else to pre-flight. Um, runway we've got pl we've got plenty of runway at Mansfield. Weather it's VFR winds out of the west at seven gusting seventeen. Jeffrey B, welcome, welcome on in, my friend. Um, Jeffrey B assisted me with. Um, um, uh, helping out with the new uh, cockpit view and being able to remove that internal cockpit cockpit um, object and be able to open up those windows a bit more so thank you again for that looks really really great um, uh, field of view is definitely a lot better All right. uh, 7 gusting 17 but it's not going to really be much of a crosswind Okay, um, alright, so what else did we do? We, we modified the airfoils, uh, um, we reduced the weight, we reduced the fuel, uh, set the oil capacity to 8 quarts, um, our GNS 430 is now COM1, well, I don't say now COM1, but it's COM1 in this aircraft as well. Um, yeah, I, I think the rest is pretty much still all the default uh, Cessna uh, uh, X-plane um, type parameters. So, but let's just see how she does. Um, the only thing I've yet to do with the physical cockpit is figure out how to make my uh, uh, actual primer switch um, create some sort of contact points on it so that. It can it can send a uh, an analog signal to actually activate you know that sort of input in X plane, but uh, right now um, I'm just going to assume that the gravity fed fuel uh, will go ahead and be just fine to get our engine fired up. So let's head to the aircraft. We've got our POH. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I was able to do. I was able to find a miles per hour um, airspeed indicator. That has the the MPH with the big numbers and has knots with the little numbers, and that just reflects the one I, I look at in the real aircraft. And for me, that's going to help me keep um, you know be on those speeds more accurately, you know, because you know, I've been bouncing back and forth. Okay, you know, 80, 80 miles per hour, seventy five miles per hour, and then here we are, you know, seventy eight knots. You know, um, 
whatever the case may be between the two of them. Uh, Jeffrey B, thank you for that subscription so, so much. Um, so let's head to the plane, and I'll meet you over there. Alright everyone, hello, welcome aboard of Felicity. Wintech, <laughs> yes, I do have it this time, it is not on top of the aircraft today. Today it's not. Um, Alright, so we're in the Foxtrot. And with the help of Jeffrey B, and while you're at it, please go follow his channel right here on Twitch. Um, I was able to remove the interior cockpit, the, the, the 3D object, the thing that you see, um, generally. And in doing so, it's opened up a good three to four inches, um, of my window. So now I can actually see the parking tee, which is nice, but it's also removed the top, um, of it as well. So now when I put aileron input in, I can physically see my ailerons, which is really nice for flight control checks, and I can physically see the flaps and the position therein as well. So, so, so much nicer. Uh, so I do greatly, greatly appreciate that. And, and now being able to see my wing top, um, that lets me properly align it with the air vents. And that provides a better overall perspective of the uh, struts and its alignment with you know, whatever landmark you may be using, the numbers or whatever point. The other thing, 
which was really nice, and I didn't know this, and it's a very powerful software program, and I'm just getting to the surface of it, but Immersive LCD Pro, um, and that's how I'm able to make all these views um, geometrically correct. That's, that's essentially my unwarped display. This is the raw viewpoints from X-Plane. But when I warp my displays with the preloaded calibrations in Immersive LCD, it uses that raw X-Plane data, and we have our full immersion here. But it does get technical as far as measuring the screen, how far they are apart with each other, where the eye point is, um, because all that does vary. Now, full disclosure. Spun dot, hello, welcome. Full disclosure, my viewpoint is set right in the center. That's where you guys are sitting. Uh, you all, that's where you all are sitting. So you all do have the best geographic, geographically, geometrically correct viewpoint. Um, yeah, mine gets a bit better as I lean more towards the center. It's a bit distorted to my left. However, it does, um, if I'm glancing this way, it really, um, really works out great. So, Jeffrey, again, thank you so, so much. Um, it, it, it does help a lot, um, especially with some of the maneuvers and air work. Okay. We've got our knee board, and we actually have a Foxtrot checklist. We are going to use this and confirm everything works as I would hope it does. Okay. First thing we need to do is go into our weight and balance. And I want to make sure that my changes are reflected correctly in here. Program. Customize. Weight balance and fuel. Now, I'm hoping that when I go and slide this internal fuel weight slider all the way up, it should give me approximately, let's see, six. 240 minus 6 is 234, because we have 39 gallons times 6. Okay, uh, 230.5, so I'd say that's close enough, because I'm sure it's retaining some for non-usable fuel. What else do I want to see? Let's, try, let's take that down. Let's go ahead and i tell you what. I just want to slide all these. I want to take all this weight out. I want to see my empty aircraft. Okay. We have 1,400 pounds total weight currently. That's my empty weight. That's what I want to see. Max weight, 2,300 pounds. Okay, so it's reflecting there as well. Let's put you and I on board. And as always, you and I weigh the same. And let's just go ahead and fill both wings up. So that's about what I'm used to seeing with my CFI when I do weight and balance, but about 2,016 pounds with both wings fully fueled. So it looks like weight and balance is working out all right there. It gives us a total flight time of 4 hours and 37 minutes. All right, weight and balance checks. And while I'm here, I just want to do this real quick. Commencing icon generation. The existing icons for this aircraft will be overwritten. Yes, I do want to do that because it's a new livery, and we're just going to 
program it in there real quick. Alright, weight and balance checks out. Um, we have our miles per hour airspeed indicator here. All right, so my icon took. Next thing we'll need to confirm, and I'm just going to leave the screens unwarped for now, is my GPS. Need to make sure that that's coming on and that it's going to reflect COM1. Um, okay, so we'll get to that in a minute. Let's do a quick walk around. Oh, well that's not what we want. We need to change our livery. There we go. Tires look good. No signs of oil leaks. So. So a quick flight control check. Ailerons, elevator, rudder. Okay. VOR antennas. Fuel caps in place.
man, I forgot I'm used to it. Okay. Now it's a brand new aircraft that I copied from. And it still has the default uh, sounds in it. So, we don't have our uh, sim acoustic F mod pack on this one. But that's alright for now. When I go back through my VODs, for some reason, I hardly hear the aircraft sounds anyway, so I might need to look into that at some point. Alright, where are we at? Alright, so we do have engine rotation. Let me confirm my fuel here. Those gauges are not reflecting accurately. Uh, must have reset when I did the icon generation thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and readjust this to where we need it to be. Two thousand eighteen, there we go. Okay. Yeah. We did drop down a bit due to that weight. Alright, our fuel gauges are now reading just below 20, like I would expect them to. What we got? Let's get our taxi light on so we can be seen. Okay, avionics. Right, so we do have COM1 here. That's what I need to see. See if we can grab some local weather and through Active Sky, I should be able to grab my closest weather station. Kilo, Mike, November, November, airport information, Gulf, two, three, five, three, Zulu, weather, wind, three, zero, seven, at one, zero, visibility, eight, sky condition, few clouds at six, thousand, temperature, one, one, dew point, minus three, altimeter, two, nine, nine, three, advise on initial contact, you have information, Gulf. Kilo, Mike, November, November, airport information, Gulf, two, three, five, three, Zulu, weather, wind, three, zero, seven, at one, zero, visibility, right. eight, sky condition. So that one just came out, uh, winds are three, zero, seven, at ten, Mike, November, November is about ten miles west of me, when winds are coming out of the west, I'll generally use that station. If they're coming out of the east, generally I'll use Mansfield, our departure, our, our arrival airport this evening. Temperature 1-1, one, one, I'm showing OAT right now, 1-0, so that checks. Okay, altimeter, 2-9-3. Alright, that checks with field elevation. Transponder, let's get that on. Lock mode Charlie. VFR. ADSB is tied into our nav lights. Let's get those on. Uh, radio will test shortly. Brakes will test on the row. Attitude, turn coordinator will test. Heading indicated to compass. Uh, that looks good there. Okay. Let's confirm our autopilot power's on. Not that we're going to use it. 
Alright, that does. We will connect to Vatsim and then fire a VFR play plan. our flight plan page. Call sign November 8033 Foxtrot. We are VFR type 172. Lightweight category. Golf. Departure for Indian Niner. We'll just say um, zero one one five. Our off block time altitude is going to be three thousand. Airspeed say a hundred and ten. Arrival. We're going to go kilo Mike Foxtrot Delta. We're watching it today in route time. We'll just say 45 minutes, and we have four and a half hours of fuel. M. Stein, Spun Dot, hello, welcome on in. Pleasure to have you both. Hope you're doing well. This file. We have Cleveland Center online, one one nine point eight seven five. And that's Unicom is always one two two point eight. And I'm gonna get center on standby. And I would likely request traffic advisories when we're doing our air work. One one nine point eight seven five. Flight plan is filed. Manual brakes on. Parking brakes off. Let's see if she'll taxi. Just some rudder. Hang on. Yeah. All right. Let's do this real quick. That's a bit better. We 
we're going to go down here and do a run up. We'll see if our car heat actuates. Well, by actuates, we'll see if our uh, RPM drops when we turn our car heat on. She seems to be taxiing, all right. All right, two eight final looks clear. Do a run up. Fuel's on both. Trim set for takeoff. And flight controls down on the right, up on the left, down on the left, up on the right. Elevator and rudder are true and responsive. Right. Uh, make sure best power primers in and lock. 1600, here we go. Left mag, there's a drop. Right mag, there's a drop. Here's the important part. Alright, carb heat gave us a drop, so that's working. Carb heat off. Okay. Suction's in the green. Oil pressure, oil temperature are good. We got good fuel flow. Manual pressure is good. Alright, let's go ahead and idle back, check our throttle friction. Feels good there. Uh, strobes going on. Uh, you know what? I need to take a quick break. I must apologize. It's in our parking break. Trust me, there's nobody here. I know there's nobody there because I'm not over there right now. I'm here. Well, here, but not over there. Uh, you know what I mean. It's not a very busy airport. All right, I'll be right back with you.
Alright, apologize about that. Let's get my seatbelt back on here. And let's confirm we are on Unicom. Um, we are on transmitting on COM1, yes. We just made a copy of that one, so let's edit this one to reflect our virtual tail number. That way I don't get the two performance profiles confused, but they're actually the same. But that way I don't, you know, do a nav log under one when I, uh, you know, I meant to do it under the other. Alright, so we'll use this one here. Rotate is 60, climb out is 80. Miles per hour. Traffic experimental, 110, Lima Victor, just maneuvering the area looking for Bravo Golf, and uh, as soon as we see you, we're going to follow you in the pattern. Uh, we'll be doing touch and go. Parking vehicle. Final still clear. Moro County traffic, November 8033 Fox Shot, taking runway 28, left close traffic, Moro County. Okay, strobes are on. Approaching runway 28. We just took off. Yeah, not a problem, we're just cleared to the north. Uh, Okay. Here we go, center line. We got a headwind, no need for wind correction. Mixture of full ridge, full power. Okay, got the uh, for center. Full, full stop and then the pattern, or are you going to be clearing the runway? We're going to be taking off right away. It'll be a stop go. Air speed's coming in line, let's rotate. Uh, okay, Alright, how we doing? Alright, positive rate. Let's climb out at 80. Oh wow, I'm liking this. Second M Stein. Let's see here. All right, we need. We're looking for 1,800 feet per crosswind. Um, 
we just the, the gross in empty weight. Reduce the available fuel. Eighteen hundred. Left oh, my left yeah, wing. Looks you. clear. Moore County traffic. November three three Fox Trot. Left crosswind two eight. Touch and go. Moore County. Um, and modify the some of the wing airfoil and prop airfoil slightly. There's traffic pattern altitude, 2100 feet. Let's level off here. Um, I may drop it in the Discord once I'm sure it's good to go. You're welcome to it. I take no credit for the objects or anything, it's all laminar stuff. Um, Thing, things like carpy, you know, none of that stuff's animated, none of that's in there. It works because, I, you know, the data ref is there and you can assign a switch to it. But if you look at the panel, nothing's going to move. Okay, the top is on base. Turn final here shortly. We will get out of your way. If you come up and on too quick, we'll get out of your way. Well, okay, it's up to you. We can go around, we can do a circle, whatever you need. We don't want any inconvenience you. This, no, is, don't this is working out is. just great. Right, thank you very much. This feels great. Alright, here we are, beam the numbers, let's power back to 1600, get our carb heat on, and let's grab uh, 10 degrees of flaps, and looking for 80 miles per hour. My, my airplane won't come down unless she's doing 80 miles per hour. Alright, there's 45. Moore County traffic, number 8033 Fox Trot, left base 28, touch and go, Moore County. Just give me flaps 2. For seven, 75 miles per hour. I'll be uh, leaving the area to the south. Then I'm looking for maybe 70 on final. There it is. Morrow County, November 32, Fox Shot. Final approach, 2 8, touch and go, Morrow County. Traffic to Tabria 461, Bravo Golf, about uh, three miles to the east. We'll be joining up on the uh, left downwind from runway 18. There's flaps 3. Short final runway 28. Traffic stop here 461 Bravo Golf joining up on the uh, downwind for 18. I created an overlay DSF for my county. That way when I'm BFR I can see things like my tree line on approach that's there in real life. So I basically created a whole gigantic overlay because this is the area I train in. Traffic stop rail 461 Bravo Golf, turning to the left, base runway 18 for the grass.
laps up. Full power, car paid off. My landing gear feels kind of springy. I might have to make it some changes to that. Airspeed. Rotate. I might have to make some modification to my landing gear. That felt kind of bouncy to me. Stop at 461 Bravo Golf in the downwind for runway 18. Alright, 1800 feet. Lift my left wing. Looks clear. Let's make a crosswind. Moro County, divide my three feet box shot. Left crosswind, 28. Touch and go, Moro County. Now uh, we're going to do a full stop, depending on how it lands. We might do some adjustments to our gear real quick and try it again. Let's roll right into a downwind this time. British pattern altitude, let's level off. Traffic stop at 461 Bravo Golf, turn in left base, runway 18 for the grass. back, trim for this, there we go, 2100, that's pattern altitude, Operational policy in the plane I fly is that when we're out of the green arc on the tack, uh, carb heat comes on. Traffic Cessna 8111 X-ray, three miles to the east there, left downwind. All right, meet the numbers. Let's power back to 16, get 10 degrees of flaps in. We're in our white arc, and find 80 miles per hour. Let's make a base. Moore County traffic, November 33, Fox Shot, left base 28, Moore County. Traffic Skyline 855, Whiskey Hotel 5 West, just on the other side of 35W. We're going to head to Waxahachie and enter on a 45 for left downwind runway 18. Lamps two. Seventy five. Morrow County, November three three Fox Shot, left pace final approach, two eight, full stop, Morrow County.
Cobra, your part of your uh, transmission was blocked. Where are you at on the downwind? Now, just about to turn final on uh, one eight for the grass. Roger that. I guess that one wasn't too bad. It still feels a bit springy. Let's get off the runway and take a quick look at our damping constraints, see what those are set to, because I don't think I even messed with those. Traffic 1-1, one one, X-ray final, 1-7. Their tail across there. Traffic Skyline 855 Whiskey Hotel 1700 right over the top of Waxahachie and turning for a 45 for left downwind. Runway 18. Morrow County traffic, probably 33 Fox Shot clear, runway 28 Morrow County. Um, Einstein, yes. Um, I did dial it back from 180 down to 145. Skyline 855 Whiskey Hotel turning left downwind at midfield for runway 18. 145 horsepower. So let's take a look here. And landing gear. Manual gear deflections and manual damping constraints. Yeah, big constraint of the entire stru entire Traffic system. Traffic four six one Bravo Golf in the downwind for one ray one eight. Tire deflection, strut load at max weight. Tire deflection at or deflection at low weight. What is this one? Tire deflection. Okay, so that's for that strut. That's for that strut. Makes sense. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna bump up the damping constraint just a bit. We're a lighter aircraft. Traffic, Skyline 855, Whiskey Hotel is turning left base for runway 18. So, pounds per foot s squared. Okay, so that's a comma. Traffic Skyline 855, Whiskey Hotel, turn and final for runway Alright, so it looks like nose wheel, 459 pounds per foot squared. How can I do this here? What, what can I try to make this work? Uh, let's clear this Probably out. Be aware you got a if bunch of circling birds at about 1,100 feet on one mile final. If Laminar is using a damping constraint of 459 for a 2,500 pound loaded aircraft, and we're in a 2,300 pound loaded aircraft, Can I take 2300 times 459 and then divide that by 2500? That gives me a number of 422.28. So we're going to try Traffic. that. Mr. 849, Charlie is uh, four miles to the east, westbound, be entering a left downwind runway right. Remember when I said I logically dabble with plane maker, this is kind of how I logically do it. Logic is telling me that if I'm using that same ratio, um, you know, 459 pounds per foot squared, 
at 2,500 pounds would equal 422 pounds per foot squared at 2,300 pounds. So let's factor that the mains the same way and let's see what it comes up with there. 2,500. That's a 591. And we're going to do that same, you know, cross, multiply, and divide. Traffic, Mr. 489 Charlie, is uh, about two to the uh, east, entering a left downwind for runway 13. Take that uh, 18, now on the uh, 45. Gives me a number of 543.72. So we're just going to round that up to 544. And the other one we're going to round down. So let's just see what happens. So we're going 422 on the nose wheel and 544 on our. Mains. Traffic, uh, Mentor 489 Charlie is swing up left face for 18. I have no idea if this is even going to work. Not a clue. Logically, though, we'll see what happens. Okay, in order just to prevent conflicts, I'm going to fully shut the aircraft down before we reload it. Okay. Reload current aircraft and art. Expediting startup, master, beacon, mixture, prime, throttle, slight, clear, clear left, clear right, clear front. indicated a compass better 489 Charlie's on the uh, half mile final uh, 1 8 nav light strobe light taxi light okay Travis 916 Julia yeah, uh, departing to the south Break test. Might have went the wrong way. Uh, consider our virtual run-up completed. Traffic, uh, Mentor 489 Charlie is uh, left crosswind for 18. Passenger 1.3 for 2000. Good brakes. Very good brakes. Breaking is weird and explain. Determined by what's called a rolling coefficient.
mission. You think can't just say something simple like stopping power. Traffic meter 489 Charlie is uh, wing up turning left downwind 18 northbound departure 489 Charlie. Moore County, November 8033 Foxtrot, runway 28, left close traffic, Moore County. Carpedo. All of our lights are on. Here we go. Traffic County, 027, uh, about 4 to the west, transitioning uh, west to east. Approaching uh, runway 28. Power. Air speed to rotate. Positive rate. Climb out at eighty. Transition over top of the old west east two thousand one hundred. this climb. Almost 1800. Uh, Bravo is two miles south of the airport. Uh, be entering a left down wind for right, one. Here we go. Moore County, November 33, Fox shot, left crosswind, 28, Moore County. And downwind, Moore County, November 3rd, Big Fox Child, left downwind, 28, Moore County. Airman certification standards allows me 100 feet above or below Traffic anything assigned base, from the DPE. So if we're in a pattern, 2100 feet, you know, I should be 2100 feet. Yeah, I'd be real disappointed in myself if I'm higher or lower than that. But maneuvers, things like that, it's plus or minus 100. Let's bring our power back. Traffic 7 on Bravo turning final 1 8. Alright, I beat the numbers. Let's bring this back to 1600. Get our car heat on. Give me flaps 10. And let's pitch for 80. It is most certainly a skill. It's a, it's a darn skill, just like anything else. Moore County, November 33, Fox Chart, turning left base 28. Touch and go, Moore County. Full stop, Moore County. Traffic, just is five miles to the east for landing runway 17. Traffic says three miles 
traffic, Need 75 knots. Final approach. Morrow County, November 033 Foxtrot, final approach 28, full stop, Morrow County. Laps three. This traffic series five one two Charlie Papa taxi from Threshold Ranch West neighborhood runway one seven. Right, we are sixty five miles per hour. A little bit slow. I'm gonna scooch a little power in there. made, a little bit of rudder, straighten our aircraft out. Traffic, there's 634 on short final, on the way, 17. And that actually felt better too. Didn't get that springy thing. So I think we'll leave it at that, and we'll go ahead and depart. We don't have enough runway to depart from here. Maybe we can take the grass. What's our windsock looking like right now? Alright, we'll take the grass. See how we do soft field-wise. Morrow County, November 33, Fox Track, clear runway 28, and we're taxiing to grass runway 10, Morrow County. Traffic search for four, back taxi, runway Flaps going up, with RP at all. Alright. Let's get flaps 10 in. Let's just go full power. Rudder. Keep that nose up. Alright, we're up. Let's find some ground effect a bit, get some air speed. Alright. That worked out really good. Momentary back to taxi on runway 17. We will be departing 17 with the glider in sight. Uh, Traffic, Mini Zuri, pop up. Let's get our flaps out. Full stop. Traffic, 
Alright, uh, let's go do some quick turn around the point. I've got a point in mind. Traffic here is 512. Charlie Papa is departing the area on the high right now in runway 17, leaving 3,000 feet on right now in part to the north. Kilo Mike November November Airport Information Lima zero zero five three Zulu weather wind two eight seven at five visibility niner sky condition few clouds two eight seven at five it's twenty five hundred feet let's level off here Alright, let's do some clearing turns. Lift my right wing. That looks clear. Let's go 90 degrees to the right. Looks clear. Let's go 90 degrees back to the left. Gained quite a bit of out unwanted altitude on that. Did not want that. my point go. Destination Natus is 125.3. Thank you.
This lake is going to be our point. any good or not, but let's try something here. What are we at? 2300. That's fine. Let's just stay here. Let's see if I can trim to maintain altitude while we're in the bank here. There's one less thing I have to worry about. I mean, the plane doesn't know which way it really is. Just fine. Okay. Let's keep this bank in and we'll just do some S turns real quick. I'm just going to keep this one rolled in and we're going to start doing them back up the street or at the end of the road. Wow. 
lost a couple hundred feet on that one, unintentionally. Alright, let's go to Mansfield. We're going to call it an evening. Uh, but first impressions, I, I think it's been a, a, a fantastic flying aircraft, and I think it feels very much like the real one that I fly. Especially in the pattern, it felt really good. The numbers seem to be on point. Oh, we lost our Cleveland Center. That's fine. Actually, you know what? Let's go. Go to Horning. I did. I did. I developed this airport for X Plane Eleven. It's uh. I haven't checked it out in X Plane Twelve yet. So let's go do that real quick. Morning has a runway, north-south runway, 2200 feet long, 65 feet wide. You know, we haven't tried, we haven't done a stall yet. We need to do a stall. Alright, so let's do a power on, power off stall. Let's go up to 3,000 feet. There it is, let's level off here. And we will do a power on stall first. I know the area is clear, there's nobody on our map or anything. But for intents and purposes, we would clear the area with clearing turns. Right, okay, here we go. Full power. that yoke back to my chest. Not 
to it though, right? Let's get back up to 3,000 feet, and this time we'll do a power off stall. Power back to 1600. And let's just go ahead and get flaps in. Alright, we're at the bottom of the white arc. Four flaps. Let's get our carpet on. Alright, here we go. Power off stall. There's the brake. Seventy miles. All right, let's take a notch out. I better than eighty. Let's pull the rest up. Pull the rest of them out. Warning: Traffic November eight zero three three Fox Channel, about four miles south. We uh, crossing over midfield and grab a left downwind for the north runway. Warning. Yeah, I, I'm really impressed with how it's playing. If I continue to enjoy it, I'll probably just go ahead and put it on the .org um, for everyone to download, since it's Laminar's item. So, yeah, just as freeware, it shouldn't be a problem. On. Let's get my power back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to update this one with some x 12 textures, I can tell you that right now. When 
not quite at pattern yet. So we're just gonna kind of round about down in there. Gotta be careful though because we are on the departure end of the galleon. Morning traffic, November 8th, Thursday, Fox Sharp. Gonna be crossing, we are crossing over midfield, find the left downwind, the north runway, morning. Morning traffic, November 8th, Fox Sharp, left downwind, north runway, morning. the numbers, let's get our power back, our car heat on, laps 10, we're in the white arc, look for 80, Morning traffic, November 33, Fox Shot, left base, runway 36, warning. Shot fire on approach three six. Touch and go. Warning. So, full power, are we gonna get those trees? Airspeed, 60, rotate, definitely BX, definitely want some BX right now. Clear obstacle. Get on course back to Mansfield. Yep, I'm definitely gonna have to go back and redo that one. 
I guess technically I have to go through and redo them all. Well, update them all for X Plane 12. Yes, I'd have to agree there, Emmerstein. Certainly would there. Get up to 2500. There's Galleon Municipal GQQ. I'm going for Quebec, Quebec, off to our right there. Kilo, Mike, Foxtrot, Delta, Airport Information, November, zero, zero, five, three, Zulu, weather, wind, two, eight, seven, at five, visibility, niner, sky condition, few clouds at five, thousand, temperature, niner, dew point, minus, three, altimeter, two, niner, niner, six, advise on initial contact that you have information, November, Kilo, Mike, Foxtrot, Delta, Delta Airport Delta, Information, November, miles. zero, zero, well, there's no runway in the ATIS, so runway is going to be our discretion. Yep, we do have to, we do have our car beat in our uh, new Foxtrot here. And she works, she flies great. Melvin, welcome my friend. Hope you're doing well. We're going to take runway 32 to land. Mansfield traffic, November 8033 Foxtrot, about 7 miles west. Going to be joining a 45 left downwind, runway 32, full stop, Mansfield. Spundot, thank you so much for your resubscription and your continued support of the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. It was always a pleasure flying with you. I hope you've been having fun. Mansfield traffic, November 0033 Fox Shot is on the 45, runway 32, full stop, Mansfield.
Repeat on, power back. Found an altitude, 2300 here, is that correct? Sounds good to me, 2300. And we're there. Left my right wing, we a little bit. Alright, let's grab that downwind. Mansfield traffic, November 8033 Fox shots entering the left downwind, runway 32 Mansfield. Let's make sure. Okay, we're still on our own. Just want to make sure that periodically I will check and see if ATC pops on. Just so I'm not landing in a delta if it is controlled. I'm going to have to reposition, see if there's a way to reposition my chat window for that, for X-Pilot. Hey, there we are, being the numbers, let's go ahead and power back. 1600. Get our car paid on. Flaps 10. And grab 80. Mansfield traffic, November 33, Fox Shot is turning left base, runway 32, full stop, Mansfield. Mansfield traffic, November 33, Fox Shot, final approach, 32, full stop, Mansfield. Probably ought to go around. Uh, we got plenty of, yeah, yeah, we got this. It is a long runway. Let's just get over to that center line, though. As long as we don't you know, correct more than 30 degrees, we'll be all right. Short final runway 32. And let's just set it down after the intersecting runway. A little 
runner, straighten our aircraft. So I'm going to take the real world taxiway that needs updated at this airport, which I should... Man, this one's definitely in need of an update. Because the taxiway is here in real life, it's just not here in X-Plane. They have redesigned um, some of the taxiways here at Mansfield. Mansfield traffic, November 0033 Fox Shot. We'll be taxiing to the terminal via Delta Cross Runway 23 Mansfield. Up, strips off, car peel off. Approaching runway zero five two three. Clear, clear. Into runway zero five two three. So my second, well, my second first is solo. My most recent you know, solo flight, towered solo, you know, the three in a pattern deal. I did that here. Outstanding. Well, I, I think I think the aircraft flew great. For what I did with it, I guess. A little bit of stuff that I did with it. Um, okay, let's sit over here and shut it down. And then we'll head back to the FBO. Okay. Uh, uh, descent. Okay. Okay. Carb heat off. Pre landing. All right. I already did that. Yep, landing did that. After landing. Mm. Flaps up. Carb heat off. Strobes off. Landing light off. Taxi light. Let's get that off. Uh, pedo heat we didn't have on. Trim. Let's reset our trim back for takeoff. Okay. Transponder is good there. Right. Avionics off. G5 is going down. <coughs> Mixture to lean. Max to off and master off. Beacon off. Outstanding. Alright, well my Foxtrot model did exactly what I expected her to do. Flew slowly and it 
the timing, the pattern, and the air speeds, everything seemed to be on point. So that's good. I'm pleased with that. I'm, you know, I might just put it on, you know, I'll tinker with it some more and put it on the dot org with a disclaimer, like, it flies like a fox shot, but what you see is still a Sierra Papa. Eventually I'll, I'll learn Blender, and, because it'd be cool to implement a, a mile per hour gauge on it, instead of the, the, uh, knots per hour. I'll go right on ahead, sir. Um, you're more than welcome. I actually saw that. I, I watched it twice. I thought it was funny. Okay, parking brake on. Okay. Disconnect from Pat's in. Um, all right, I'll see you all back at the FBL. Alright, well, I do want to thank you all for coming in and hanging out as we tried out our our experimental uh, Foxtrot model. I, I think it flew absolutely well. Um, we, we did a little bit of adjustment with our landing gear dampening rate, but once we did that, the landing seemed to be pretty good. Um, so yeah, all, all in all, the uh, uh, all of the changes that and that's all they were, it's just changes to what was already there. Nothing overly special about it. Um, but, you know, we, we took all the information from our Foxtrot POH, plugged all that stuff in uh, into X-Plane, the Plane Maker. Um, you know, did, did the research on um, the types of air, the types of airfoils uh, that the Foxtrot model had and I had to do some searching but I did find them uh, um, in another aircraft folder I did find the uh, airfoils that I needed or at least that matched the name and the description and I was able to apply those to the the wing essentially a, it's called a root and a cord um, but I was able to apply those and it seemed to fly really really nicely uh, climb out took, you know, took about as long as I expected for a little 145 horsepower airplane, but the performance was, you know, um, what I'm used to, so I, I think it did well. A couple quick thank yous. I do want to say thank you again for to Jeffrey Becker for, you know, Jeffrey B on Twitch to for helping me dial in the 172 cockpit. Um, so I do appreciate that and for your resubscription and support of the channel. Spun Dot, thank you for your resubscription as well. Thank you so, so much. Um, M. Stein, uh, always a pleasure to have you on board. Hey Drippy, came in for a bit earlier today. Wintech, always a pleasure. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And we will see you on the next one as well. 
Melvin Leroy. Uh -huh. Hopefully your landing wasn't too, too horrible. I might try and catch that on the VOD. Um, Spundot, always a pleasure. If I did miss anybody, I do apologize. Um, parking brake was awfully quiet. Don't know if they were still here, uh, but thank you for coming in as well. Uh, <laughs> you're back. Alright. Um, I probably won't see you again until this Friday. Um, um or oh, no, probably not. I don't know. Either poss either Friday, for certain Monday, possibly Friday, maybe sometime over the weekend. Uh, it's hard to say right now. So, um, let's see who we can send you over to for your continued evening enjoyment um, let's see I'm going to send you over to uh, I did see that there Jeffrey um, rated her last night Uh, no, we're not doing that one. Not doing that one. Oh, it looks like it looks like she might be in X Plane Twelve tonight, though. Um, all right, let's raid Sparky Pilot. She's flying the Kodiak in X Plane Twelve. I'll uh, send you over there for the rest of your evening until our next regularly unscheduled flight. I hope you all take care and stay safe. And as always, it's my pleasure flying with you. And we will see you next time. <laughs> Have a great evening. <laughs>